Hello and welcome to the Slip Slip Sis YouTube channel. My name is Che and I am half of your Slip Slip Sis duo and I am coming to you with a very special vlog. I am heading out to the SoCal Fiber Fair. This is the first year they are doing this event. It is in Pomona, California and it's hosted at the Fairplex. So it's about 40-45 minutes away from me. So very convenient for me to be able to go to. I'm very excited to be attending this year. Um, so just, it's been a long week. Um, there was stuff going on at work. I'm coming off of a cold. So this is like a treat yourself moment. And you know, I am the queen of treat yourself. Um, so I'm super excited. I know there's a couple of vendors. I'm already really excited. Um, to get to shop at and i have a little bit of a short list of things that i'm looking for like for example i have a freckled i have the freckled whimsy 24 stripe advent and i want to get a mini skein to do like the heels toes and cuffs for that but i got dk this year so i need a dk um mini skein and i don't actually have any dk's that are like tonals uh, so that's definitely something on my list. A couple of things, a couple of swaps um, that I'm involved in that I haven't sent the packages out for yet. So I wanna get, see if there's any goodies I can get for that. Maybe get a little something for my sister. So literally looking forward to attending that. And I am rocking my Prismatic sweater by Wool and Pine. Um, and so this is my first time wearing this one since I made it, cause I made it in like June and it has not been cold enough for me to wear it. So I'm very excited um, to be rocking this one. So I am going to head out and hit the road. I'll probably spend a couple hours there. There are food trucks. I'm not sure if I wanna eat there, um, but we'll see. And I'll check back in later. SoCal Fiber Fair. This recap section might be in installments because I tend to run out of breath with how I am currently feeling. I didn't do too much talking while I was there though, so that's nice, mostly shopping. Um, but let's start at the beginning. So it took me just about 45 minutes um, to get there. I will say I got there just after 10 a.m. It started, the event started at 10. Um, and there was quite the bottleneck, I will say, at parking. It's my understanding though that it wasn't just this event that was going on because there was some signage for like soccer this way. So I assume there must be or might have been some kind of game. So there was a bit of a bottleneck in terms of parking, but as I was leaving, like it was completely clear. So I would venture that if they were to do it again next year for folks who want to get there right at 10, definitely go early. Or if you're okay with, um, you know, not going right at 10, maybe try leave or try and get there around 10.30 a little bit after that. Um, I will say it did start to fill up around like 11 or so. Um, so I think that's when the bulk of people um, did show up. And at least from where I had to park, it was quite a ways of a walk. I guesstimate probably about a quarter mile or so. And I think um, the only tricky part was there wasn't a lot of signage um, pointing to where I should go. Cause it, um, 
the fairplex had like a lot of buildings so if anyone's been to like the rose bowl it looked a lot like that um it was very much so like a fairgrounds um because i think this is actually where they host the la county fair um so there was a lot of different buildings so it was a little hard to tell um and there also weren't a lot of people directing um but i just happened to find other people who were talking about yarn so i followed them and it worked out okay and eventually there was a little bit of signage um, but a lot closer to the venue um so just from parking it was a little hard um, to figure out where to go. And then getting in was super easy, super quick. Everyone got a raffle ticket, um, which was nice. And they did draw, uh, they had a drawing for like 11, 15, two o'clock, I think, and then four o'clock. Um, so that was nice. I did not win anything, rats. Um, but then it was all in one large building and there were about three rows. So to start off, I wanted to kind of just take a lap to, to kind of get a sense of all the folks that were there. They had these wonderful um, overviews at check-in. Of course, I looked at it uh, maybe once. I know they had some of the like workshops or like smaller like making crafts and in their middle section. So you can kind of see like an overview of the space right here. Um, so that was nice. And then there was, um, a few people, people, a few of the shops were participating in um, the Among Friends, which I believe it's organized by Kira K Designs. I'm not 100% on that one, but it's um, a set group of the vendors who have kind of created a little um, group or collective where you can, it's like a, like a basically like a bingo where you check off by visiting their shop. We did this at Lambtown. Um, and you can enter to win a prize. If you had purchased their um, limited edition bag, you could get a 10% off. Um, like wristband for each of the shops that were participating. I didn't purchase one, but I did get my little bingo card um, checked off, so that was nice. And then after doing my laps, getting a lot of my things checked off, I then started to buy some stuff. And I started off actually um, with non-yarn, but I found this great booth that was basically like all kind of yarny attire. And so I found their like last chance bin and everything in their last chance bin was $5. So I was like, that's a hot deal. So I got a tank top, which I think is so perfect. And I don't know why, and I think it's funny, yarn on the mind is what I'm calling it. I don't actually know if that's um, what it's for, but it's this great, really pretty like Merlot color. I don't have a knitting tank top. I definitely should have a knitting tank top, especially because I live in Southern California and it is hot, hot most of the time. So this is going to be perfect, especially over summer when I want to be yarny themed or like if Gabs and I go do a like yarn event over the summer or maybe I'll wear this when we go to Reno for our retreat um, where it's definitely going to be warm. And this is not, I'm already hot in this and desperate to change. Um, so I did get that and then you got a tote bag with your purchase, which was awesome. Yarn Love is the shop. And then you also get a keychain, which I think is sick. And you get to pick which color you want. And then this is their card. So Yarn Lover, um, and you can follow them on Instagram. So this was awesome. Probably the best deal um, of the day um, for everything that I got here. And then I'm gonna have to double check my map to remember all the places I stopped at because I decided I didn't need any receipts. Um, but of course, for the things that are non-yarn, I can't remember who they are by. So let me just do some cross-referencing because <laughs> this 502 was yarn love. Then I went over to, it was one of the bag makers maybe 503 or 504, but of course it's not in order of the numbers. It's based on the name of the people, which is in alphabetical order. But if you are Chaley and cannot remember the name of the people, that is a problem. I think it is 503, but now I cannot find 503. Do, do, do. You know, this is why I bring Gabs because she remembers this kind of stuff and it's gone for me. Okay, so it wasn't Royal B. Was it next to Royal B? Oh, Chaley. <sighs> oh, I think I got it. I believe it's the Dawn Catherine Studio. And these are the bags that I got from them. And this was also on sale 
Um, and so if you was like, and I'm going to share prices on everything because um, we got such great comments from you all about um, sharing our prices and how much things cost when we went to Lambtown. So I definitely want to be transparent about that and honor that. So it was, I think these were either like, there was something wrong with the bag. It was like last chance, something um, where it was buy one for 15 or two for 25. So I got two. And the first is this kind of fun bag, like an ap yarn apothecary or potions and all the things. I think this is just such a fun bag. Um, and then I also got this one, which I just thought was pretty, just simply very, very pretty. So I think these are fabulous, um, fabulous bags and for such a great price in my opinion. Okay, and then I scooted on down to, of course, now I've forgotten it again, my other one that I stopped at, ah, Cerulean Orchid, and a lot of the different vendors had stickers, and so I was kind of trying to find the one that I felt like had the best price um, for the stickers. I found some that were like, uh, I think it was like, like they were either two dollars or one dollars but they were much smaller stickers some had their stickers for five dollars which was a little pricey for me um swilling orchid had theirs for three dollars and so i was like yes i'm in i bought two but one is actually for my sister for christmas so i'm just not going to show it because i know she's going to watch this and so it has to be a semi surprise um for her but i got this one for myself and if you, you've been watching for a while you know I love dinosaurs so this is perfect for me I'm collecting stickers right now to put onto my laptop so this is gonna go into that sticker pile and now we can start on the yarn so the couple of things I was looking for for today and then a couple of things I just wanted to have and the start of my I just wanted to have it yarn is from Seismic Yarn and they're one of my favorite dyers. They're out of Daly City, San Francisco area and I just love their style but also a lot of their names and so I got this one which I was drawn to because I really liked the colors and then I read the name of it and it's the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and that is a Bay Area San Francisco based group of drag queens who um, in drag are sisters or nuns. So they refer to themselves as the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and they do a lot of activist work. And so love that, had to have this one. So I'm very excited about this. You can see some beautiful bright colors coming through there. So I'm very excited um, to have this one. And I got it in their Seismic Butter Sock DK, which is an 8515 Superwash um, Merino Nylon. And then another one of my I just wanted to have it is from a new to me dyer. It's called Super Glow Fiber. Look how fun this is. The theme is bold today or mostly just things Chaley wanted to have. And so this one, I believe um, they're out of Scottsdale, Arizona. And this one was their show exclusive because it's called SoCal Fiber Fair 2023 five vibes so like fiber but five vibes so five vibes pardon me this one was awesome i love their booth it had all these beautiful neon um very glowy colors so was immediately drawn to that and now we have reached a section of things chaley actually needed um to get and so for my freckled whimsy um 24 stripe socks dk i have actually never done have I? I don't think I have. I've never done DK where I had like a DK mini to do the contrast heel, toe, and cuff. So never actually measured how much I needed. So to be safe, I got two of these lovely kind of cream, almost like a, almost a gray, but mostly kind of like a nice neutral undyed or, okay, now, Oh, Chaley, what is this one called? Oh, I feel like I've, oh, I believe it's Die Lots Studio. I'm pretty confident it's Die Lots Studio. Oh, I forgot to tell you prices. This one was, I believe 28, 
This one was 30 and then these were $5 each. So I also did some scoping out of the mini skeins and this one was the best deal. Also one of the only ones I saw that had DK. Um, so this was perfect for me and I rifled through there to get two that were the same color. And then the last thing that I got was a new, again, new to me, um, dyer. And mostly, you know, I really get drawn in when people are nice to me. Um, and this um, particular um, vendor and dyer was really nice um, talking to me as I was looking at the different yarns. And so I got yarn for my pink scrappy granny blanket. Um, this is the yarn that I'm going to use to join it. So for that one, um, I'm making granny squares all of different pinks. I'm going to use my server and stitcher like pink advent for it. And then that's going to be my blanket for myself. And so I thought I wanted a gray for it and like gray still would have been fine, but I really, really liked this particular yarn. And cause I think this is fun. It's cause yes, I could have done a solid, but where's the fun in that? So I feel like it's a nice speckle. It will definitely like bring out the pinks in it. And to me, it looked a lot like birthday cake. Um, but then I read it and it's called, the colorway is called Baby Girl and it's K and L fibers. And I was like, baby girl, like, oh, that's cute. Like thinking it was for like, literally like a baby girl. Um, but then the, um, vendor who I believe is one of the dyers was like, do you like criminal minds? And I was like, yeah, I like Criminal Minds. And she was like, oh, well, you kind of struck me as someone who might like Criminal Minds. And I was like, I, now upon reflection, I don't know what that says about me. Because Criminal Minds is like a pretty intense like crime show. But I mean, she wasn't wrong. I do really like Criminal Minds. And it's called Baby Girl um, because that is what Morgan calls, or Agent Morgan calls Penelope. Penelope Garcia, he calls her, hey baby girl. And I think that's awesome. And so I had to have it. And so I'm going to use this um, for my blankie and I probably will have extra. So I might even be able to make some socks. So uh, overall I had a really good time and it was so sweet. Um, one of our viewers said hello to me in the beginning. So Jenna, thank you so much for saying hi. It was really nice to meet you and your family. I hope you have a very safe drive back to the South Bay as well and enjoyed your shopping. So it's always really nice uh, when folks who are um, watching the channel come over to say hi to us. It was really sweet. You know, I haven't been feeling good all week. So it's always kind of nice. Um, overall thoughts. I think the vendors are really great. I think they had a really good selection of things. I think for the cost of what it was for me to go, I'm not sure if I would go again by myself. So my ticket, I bought it when it first came out. So I believe it was like $12, but because you had to pay like a processing fee, it came out to like $14 or so, which was still better because at the door, I think the tickets were 20. Um, but then it was $17 for parking and I really didn't have an option to not park there. So overall, right, 17 plus the $14 is like $30, um, a little over $30 for me to go. I went for probably an hour, 15 minutes and um, it was an out, let's give it, let's say, hour 45 um, total in terms of driving plus the cost of gas. No one knows what that is. Um, it was a lot, I think for me to go, definitely worth it for me to go and see what it's like. And you know, as I was thinking about the other stuff we've gone to, like going, just going to Lambtown, which was probably more expensive, um, farther away, but I think the experience was different because I was with my dad and my sister. And so I think for something like this, I would definitely want to go with like a friend, like a fiber friend. Um, so at Gab's next time you have to go with me because um, she's really my only fiber friend because contrary to my personality at work and on here, I am a complete introvert and don't like to talk to anybody. It makes me nervous. Gab's is the extrovert. Um, she makes the friends. So I think I would go again with a friend. Um, I didn't buy food there, but I did check out the prices. They had three different um things and they were all kind of like fair food uh so like funnel cakes um chili cheese dogs um other burgers other stuff like that and I thought about eating there but I was like I don't really want to pay 11 to eat a hot dog by myself I'm sure I could have made a friend and sat with other people 
but that's just not my journey and not who I was. So overall, I think that the organizers did a really good job of posting information um, so you could prepare ahead of time um, for certain things. But with just the distance and me going alone, I think I would do it differently if I went again and definitely have a buddy to go with, most likely my sister. But thank you so much for tagging along with me on this special vlog of the SoCal Fiber Fair. I will pan over all of my goodies one last time, maybe. And then I hope to see you next time here on YouTube. Bye now.